Hey everyone, welcome back to A Week in Geekdom. Gio here, and today we're going to be talking about Winter Wonderfest 2020. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And yeah, I mean, who doesn't love good epic solicitations i do and of course with winter wonderfest 2020 i had no idea absolutely no idea that so many companies were going to present so much stuff it is insane i thought about doing a video because as soon as i started seeing all the images popping up online i said hey i kind of want to do a video on it just talking about it and, and, and maybe you guys can uh, chime in down below and let me know which figures you're most excited about. Statues, uh, Nendoroids, all that fun stuff. And uh, my goodness, th th there's way too many. I cannot fit them all in, in one video. So this is a part one with Good Smile Company, Max Factory, all the Nendoroid stuff. Uh, I'm also gonna include uh, Prime One statues and Kotobukiya statues. So strap in because there's a lot of figures to go through. I went ahead and picked out all the images. I might have left some out. I don't know. I probably did. There was way too many. Plus it was a little bit hard to find because not every single uh, website had everything. So I had to dig through several Japanese websites to look for images. Yeah, so let's get started with the Good Smile Company stuff, which includes a whole bunch of uh, scale figures and mini figurines and nendoroids and statues and all that stuff. Uh, also, before I continue, heads up, I am going to butcher some of these names because this is the first time I'm looking at some of these figures. So don't get upset, relax, it's going down. First up, we got a one-in-one -one, uh, figure of Cheetoserium Carbonia Yonstellite. I, I, I have no idea what any of that meant, but it looks pretty kick-ass. I love the base and what looks to be sort of a gothic style black mechanical flag. I, I don't know, it looks pretty awesome. You guys, if you know about these series that I'm confused about, uh, let me know in the comment section so I can check that stuff out because it looks pretty interesting, but I have no idea what it, what series it is or who that character is. So yeah, uh, looks to be from the same series. We got a one in one ch uh, Cheetoserium Albir and Cipher. I probably butchered that as well, but I love that it's two figures, two throne looking things and the detail on that stuff looks pretty awesome. I can't wait to see the finished product with the paint apps. I think they're going to look pretty cool. Uh, next up we got a 1-7 scale figure Alter Ego Okita Soji Alter Decisive Blade Endless 3 Stage. That's a long, long name and I believe this is the start of a bunch of Fate Grand Order figures that I'm going to be mentioning. I know about the Fate series, but I didn't know that there were so many characters and then people are going nuts about it. Because I kept reading on Twitter and everybody was excited about all the Fate Grand Order stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It, it's a thing. <laughs> uh, we've got a 1-7 scale figure archer Tomoe Gozen, heroic spirit traveling, heroic spirit traveling outfit. Uh, which looks pretty badass. If I do say so myself, I'd love uh, the ornamental dress and the umbrella and all that stuff with the friggin' horns. Okay. Next up, we got a 1-7 scale figure Berserker Minamoto no Raiku Heroic Spirit Traveling Outfit. A 1-7 scale figure Kokoa Warrior Version. Uh, yeah. I don't know which series this is. Maybe it's from Fate? I don't know. Let me know. Next up, something I'm really excited about. Like, holy crap, I was not expecting this at all. It is a 1-7 scale figure of Hyakimaru from Dororo, the recent anime adaptation of 2019. One of my favorite shows of 2019. 
it looks pretty badass. I, I, I cannot wait to see the finished product because just this picture alone, I'm already excited. The one thing though, I wish we could get another one with maybe a, a more dynamic action pose, but this looks pretty freaking amazing nonetheless. This is a 1-7 scale figure Inferno from... I have no idea, <laughs> but it looks cool. I like the, the dynamic pose and the cape and the lava in, in, in the stair and the bloody axe. It looks pretty interesting. Uh, this is another figure from the Type Moon Fate stuff. This is a 1-7 scale figure, uh, Jean d'Arc, raising version. 1-7 seventh, one seventh scale figure, Kogane Tsukyoka. Next up, we have a 1-7 scale figure of Hatsune Miko, Kentaro Yabuki Osoba version, whatever that means. Another Hatsune Miko, but this time it's a 1-8 scale figure, and it's labeled Hatsune Miku First Dream. From the Fate Grand Order stuff, we've got a 1-8 scale figure, Ruler Sherlock Holmes, looking pretty interesting. I think those are mirrors. Uh, from the same series and same size, we've got the Shinjuku Archer. That cool looking mustache right there. Next up, from 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, a 1 7 scale figure of Yakushiji. Megumi Yakushiji. I know these names. We got a bunch of Harry Potter Nendoroids, Fortnite Nendoroids. Hawkeye from Avengers Endgame, Nendoroid. Another Fortnite character. Reinhardt from Overwatch. And this thing. Wow, okay. Act Mode Rumi. If you guys know what this is about, let me know, because this looks pretty impressive. I mean, it's a f small figure, but that accessory, I don't know if it's a, a giant blade or a part of a building or what the heck that is, but that is super tall. That looks awesome. Uh, Nendoroids. There, there might be a couple of figures scattered throughout, but we're moving on to the Nendoroids. This is Atelier, Riza, Ever Darkness, and the Secret Hideout. A Nendoroid of Riza. See, there you go. <laughs> a 1 7 scale figure, Ron Mitake. From Bang Dream. Yeah. From the same series, Bang Dream, we got the girls band party, and I do believe they're making them separate, so I'm not gonna feature every single one, but you can see all the characters right there in Nendoroid form. Uh, Bang Dream Girls Band Party Pop Up Parade. This is another line, which correct me if I'm wrong, it, it seems like a more uh, smaller scale affordable figurine slash statue, quote unquote. We got a Nendoroid for Bayonetta, for Bloodborne, you got one for the Bungo Stray Dogs characters, all four of them. From My Hero Academia, we're getting a Dobby uh, Nendoroid. We're getting a Date Alive 1-7 scale figure of Kurumi Tokisaki, light novel bunny version. Also from the same series, Date A Live Fragment, Date A Bullet, 1-7 scale figure, White Queen. Uh, from Fate, uh, Fate Prisma Ilia, because it's, it's a long name. Uh, Prisma Phantasm, 1-7 scale figure, Von Eisenburn. You got a Figma Alter Ego, Okita Soji Alter. Figma Altria Pendragon, Raising version. From a Ghost in the Shell standalone complex, we're getting a Figma of Bato. We're getting a Figma Emily with tech wear. I think this is a generic uh, character or an in house character. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Same with this Emily Cycling Jersey version. Jean d'Arc Figma Raising version. Juzo Inui of No Guns Life. We're get he's getting a Figma. We're also getting a Figma of Lancer Ultra Pendragon, which looks really intricate. Uh, speaking of Lancer, you got Lance, Lance, Raider, Figma, uh, Merlin Figma figure from the uh, Fate Grand Order stuff. And this is pretty interesting, a Ghost in the Shell Motoko Kusanagi standalone complex 2045 version, which is the upcoming 
Netflix uh, anime series. Figma Nero Claudius Raising Version. Uh, you got more Splatoon Nendoroid goodness. Figma of Saber of Red. Casual version, I think it's called. Saber Nero Claudius Figma. Uh, bride version. And Saber Okita Soji Figma from Fate Grand Order. Uh, Figma Sailor Outfit Body for Emily. You got another uh, Figma for uh, Hatsune Miku, but this is the Sakura version. Figma Sekiro from the video game. The character is getting a figure of his own. This is a Figma Shielder Mash Kirialite or Ortenaus from Fate Grand Order. <laughs> Figma Toshalincho-san. I have no idea what that is. The character UMP9 is getting a Figma figure as well. Yotsuyu Hirasaka, Brave Version. That character is also getting a Figma. From Death Stranding, the character of Cliff is getting a Figma figure. Uraraka, which I think it's about to come out, which is why we have that picture here. Also, we have Gridman, the Hyper Agent, Hagane Works, Thunder Gridman. The Blade Liger from Hagane Works, of course, of Zoids. Uh, this is Hagane Works, Mazenkaiser Hao, a Hakuoki Nendroid of Okita Soji. Hatsune Miku GT Project 1 8 scale figure racing Miku 2020 version. A heavily armed high school girl's BK 91A, which I think goes with the UMP 9 Figma. Uh, yeah, there you go. Heavily armed high school girls. That was the UMP 9 series, which I forgot. Uh, Ichi, another. Uh, Hyperdimension Neptunian Nendoroid Neptune 10th anniversary version. Same series, but Purple Heart. If my favorite pop idol made it to Budokan, I would die. Nendoroid version of Eddie Pio. This is probably my favorite of the whole bunch. I love this so much. <laughs> my boy Inosuke is getting his Nendoroid and I absolutely love it and I kind of want that. Next up, a pretty infamous series that just gained a lot of fans as of 2020. Interspecies Reviewers, uh, Krim Nendoroid. Journal of the Mysterious Creatures Nendoroid of Vivian Ancestor. Kaguya-sama Love is War, we've got the Chika Nendoroid. And the Nendoroid for Miyuki. Kantai Collection, Ken Cole Nendoroid of Johnston. My Hero Academia, Kirishima is getting a Nendoroid as well. We've got Lightback Camp Figma for Nadeshiko Kagamihara. And my favorite character out of Lightback Camp, we are getting a Figma of Rin Shima. Also a Nendoroid of Ena Saito from Lightback Camp with the doggy. Again, my favorite character of that series, Rin is getting a Nendoroid of her own with the bike. From Made in Abyss, Dawn of the Deep Soul, which is the sequel movie, we're getting a Figma of Bondrude. From Magia Record, we're getting a Figma of Iroha Tamaki. Machine Hero Wataru Plamax Senomaru. Yeah! Boba Police Pat Labor. From Pat Labor, we're getting a lot of stuff. We're getting this Modoroid Bulldog, this Modoroid Hell Diver, uh, this Modoroid Ingram. And yeah, those that those three. Motheroid Balking. I have no idea what this is about, but I'm guessing it's old school mecha. Guy King right there. Yeah, Guy King. Gun Barugar. Oh boy. Metroid Great Zio Ziorimir. Ziorimir? I don't know. That thing. I'm getting a lot of weird names, and a lot of you are probably going to be really upset. We got the Motheroid for Ikaruga. Uh, Raiking. Motheroid Super Pip Pipimi Bari Mode. Monster Hunter World Iceborne Nendoroid Hunter Female Nargakuga Armor Version. 
and for Monster Hunter World Iceborne, male Xenogri, Xenogar Alpha Armor version. Uh, from my teen romantic comedy snafu 2, we're getting a Nendoroid of Yukino Yukinoshita. From Nekopata, we're getting a Figma of Chocola and the other character, which I don't know the name of, I apologize. Nendoroid uh, Alter Ego Meltralis from the Fate Grand Order stuff. We're getting an Asuna Nendoroid Creation Goddess Stasia version from Sword Art Online. Nendoroid of Ayu Tsukimiya. From the Fate Grand Order, we're getting a Nendoroid of Bedivir. Nendoroid of Shen. These two are generic characters. A Nendoroid doll outfit set, gym clothing, red and green. And a priest and a sister, which I, I've never met a priest wearing a monocle. <laughs> That's new. Uh, another generic one, this is a Yukata with peach and sky blue colors. We're getting a Nendoroid Doll Rider of Black Fate. This is from the uh, Fate stuff. More Fate, you're getting a Nendoroid Doll Ruler and Saber of Red. We're getting from Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age, the Luminary. An Android Ex... Exusai? Exusai? That guy. Nendoroid... Oh man, this... Uh, Age of Fjalla. Butchered that. Amen. Nendoroid G11. Hatsune Miku V4X Nendoroid. Wolfboy Inuyasha himself is getting a Nendoroid. Iori Furuyusaka is getting a Nendoroid from 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. From Fate Grand Order, Kingu is also getting a Nendoroid. One of my favorite characters of 2020. I haven't read the manga, but I've been loving the anime of Inspector. This is the Nendoroid figure for Kotoko Iwana. And from uh, the movie Promare, Nendoroid Leo Fotia. Uh, Mira Kinohata Nendoroid. A Nemesis men Nendoroid. <laughs> Orphan. You know, they recently did the uh, reboot anime that's currently airing as of this video, so we're getting a uh, Nendoroid of him. Nendoroid Rider Ozymandias Ascension version. Here's somebody I do know, Nendoroid for my boy Shinosuke Nohara of Crayon Shinchan. Another Snow Miku 2.0 Nendoroid. UMP9 from Girls Frontline. Uh, we got Vanellope from Wreck and Ralph. Shiro from Na No Game No Life, a 1 7 scale figure. Okami from the video game. He's getting the coolest Nendoroid. I love that. That's so awesome. Uh, this one, I don't know the character, but it looks really cool. Um, Anmyoji Nendoroid Otakemaru. From the same series, Shuten Doji. Oresuki, Are You the Only One Who Loves Me? Uh, Nendoroid of Sumeriku, Sumireku Sanshokuin. Boy, oh boy. Playmax Godwing Dragon Knight Renfire Dragon. And the blue one, which I... Don't know the name of, sorry. Playmax Kuomaru. Playmax Prison Girl, Prisoner 101. The Pocket Maquette, which I think is a new line as well of, of tiny little figurines. <laughs> they probably look to be like an inch or two. Uh, we're getting a full set of six Demon Slayer characters. The Pop Up Parade, which I talked earlier, seems to be like a more economical figurine. This one of Aqua from Konosuba. Darkness from Konosuba, Gallo Themos from Promare, <laughs> Juzo Inui is also getting a pop up parade, Leo Fotia, my favorite of the Konosuba girls, Megumin, she's getting a pop up parade figure. Uh, this is a two pack, or a, I think they just photographed the two of them together. It's Bakuko and Deku in their school outfits. Uh, Kotoko Iwana, Natsu from Fairy Tail, 
Todoroki from My Hero Academia. This is one of my must-gets. I love this so much. This is the Traveler from the video game Journey. I really want to get this one. And from ReZero, starting life in another world, one seven scale figure of Beatrice, the Tea Party version. You got a retort Nendoroid. Retort. And from Saikano the movie finale, you got a one seven scale figure, Eddie D. Spencer Sawamura, casual version. Also from Saikano, how to raise a boring girlfriend, you got a scaled figure of Utaha, Utaha Kasumigaoka. Kasumigaoka. There you go. From Saikano, How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend, you got a 1-7 scale figure of Megumi Kato Fantasia Festival 2017 version. You got a scale figure of Altria Pendragon Raising version. And from that same line, a scale figure of Nero Claudius. We're also getting a scaled figure of Shiro from No Game No Life, Yu Kamiya Artworks. Senki Zesho Symphogear GX Act Mode, Chris Yukine. I, I read online that a lot of people were excited because they had, uh, I think, forgotten about Symphogear. Or it's been a while since a new figure came out or something. From that same line, you got GX Act Mode Hibiki Tachibana. And from Shin Megami Tensei, you got a Nendoroid for Black Frost. Also, we have a Shinkansen Henkei Robo Shinkalian Motoroid Black Shinkalian. Deep breath, Geo. Shinkansen, oh boy. Henkei Robo Shinkalian Motoroid Shinkalian 800 Tsubame. Space Warrior Baldios Motoroid Baldios. Supersonico 1-7 scale figure, Supersonico Curry Shop Bikini Waitress version. Tenya uh, from My Hair Academia is getting a Nendoroid. My boy Rimuru from that time I got reincarnated as a slime is getting a Figma figure. Uh, the Case Files of Jeweler Richard is getting a Nendoroid doll of Richard Ranashinha de Volpian. The Idol Master Cinderella Girls 1-7 scale figure of Riamuru Yumemi. Yumemi? I'm probably going to anger some people with this comment, but the only character I liked from Quintessential Quintuplets, it is the Nendoroid for Miku Nakano. Uh, from the Rising of the Shield hero, Philo is getting a Nendoroid. From the Vision of Escaflone, wow, okay, cool. Vintage stuff, nice, from my era. Uh, this is a new one, the manga is recently, I, the manga recently came out, as well as the anime, which debuted this year, Toilet Bound Hanako Kum. Hanako is getting a Nendoroid. Tomioka of Demon Slayer, he's also getting a Nendoroid. Toho Lost World 1 8 scale figure, Reimu Hakure. Toho Project Nendoroid, Marisa Kirasame 2.0. Token Ranbu Online, Nendoroid, Hyoga Masamune. From that same series, Yamambagiri Chogi. Valkyria Chronicles for 1-7 scale figure of Primaria Levin. This is another pop-up parade of Hina Amano uh, and the other protagonist, which I forgot the name, sorry, but basically <laughs> Weathering With You, the movie. You're getting this really cool setup, which would look great on your shelf with the Blu-ray whenever that comes out. Uh, Yennefer from The Witcher is getting a Nendoroid. My other boy, Senitsu, one of my favorite uh, characters of recent memory. I love Senitsu, he's so wacky. Uh, from Demon Slayer, he's getting a Nendoroid. And that is it. Oh my god. Alright, first off, way too many names. I, I don't know half of what I read. I, I, I think most of them I butchered, so I deeply apologize for that. Hopefully you got a good laugh at, at me mispronouncing names. But that's a lot of stuff that's coming out. Alright, so moving on to the second portion of this video, uh, uh, taller statues. We're going to start with Gecko and their Sekiro statue, which looks really impressive. Again, similar to the Hyakimaru 1-7 scale figure, I wish they had a, a more of a dynamic pose, but still, they look really detailed. And this one, the paint apps, it just looks 
like you discovered a statue of olden times. It has that weathered look, and it looks really cool to me. Uh, next up from Prime One Studios, these are the official images that they released. You can probably find better shots out there. Uh, this is of Joker from Persona 5. And this, these are like the big statues, and they're pretty massive. Uh, you might want to check out uh, all the photos online for these. Uh, the Queen Alien Battle Diorama statue. Same with the Rogue Alien statue, which looks so badass. I love the paint app on this. The uh, Ahab Predator. I so want a freaking Predator, man. One of my favorite movie monsters of all time. Uh, next up from Kotobukiya, we have the uh, Batman Who Laughs artifacts. From their Bishoju line of Kotobukiya, we have Black Cat. The Artifacts Premiere, which is their new top-tier statue line. Uh, this time we've got Captain Marvel, the comic book version. Uh, from the horror Bishoju, we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface, which uh, I get strange feelings with this. I don't know how to process the fact that I'm looking at a sexier version of Leatherface. Yeah. <laughs> Double, yeah, alright, okay. Uh, also, Pennywise. I'd love this version. I don't have any of the horror be showed you, but if I were to get one, actually, my favorite out of everything is probably this Pennywise. I really like the look. It, it's, it's pretty awesome. And from Artifacts Premiere, Scarlet Witch, which, in my opinion, Easily one of the best Scarlet Witch statues ever. I love this so much, and I kind of want to get it. Uh, we only got a silhouette, but I am super excited that we're finally getting a Bishoju for my favorite uh, female superhero, Mira. And the Birds of Prey movie version of Harley Quinn is also getting a Bishoju figure. I think... No, it's not a Bishoju figure. No, sorry. A regular... <laughs> a regular statue. My bad. Sorry about that. Uh, this I took, and I have to give credit, I took this image straight from uh, Toy Arc. You, uh, I'll leave a link down below so you can see all their photos. This is the uh, Mafex display of all their Marvel characters. You got Deadpool, Spider-Verse characters, Gwenpool, Evil Gwenpool, regular Spider-Man, Wolverine, Cyclops, and their Neo Magneto, which he looks awesome as hell. And the DC side, they got Catwoman, variations of The Dark Knight Returns Batman, Joker from The Dark Knight Returns, and regular Batman. You got Jim Lee Batman and a Jim Lee Superman. The Amazing Yamaguchi, uh, they're doing Cable. And I love the Amazing Yamaguchi because they straight up look. If you want to do a Marvel vs. Capcom uh, display with figures, these are the ones to get because they're really... Uh, expressive and disproportionate but on purpose it's stylized and I think they really look like they came out of the Marvel vs. Capcom games especially that cable I love how he looks that's badass and I totally forgot to add the Prime 1 uh, statue for Doomslayer which looks really impressive uh, Casca of the Golden Age arc of Berserk which looks gorgeous and I wish I could own this, the Shield Weaver armor set of Aloy of Horizon Zero Dawn, accompanied by the Stalker statue. So you're buying two statues to display together. <sighs> That's awesome. Uh, Vegeta is getting a statue of his own from Prime 1 to match the Goku that we already knew about. And that's about it. That's all the statues that are coming out from uh, Kotobukiya Prime 1. All the stuff from Good Smile. I will do a separate video on all the other companies that are putting stuff out. Because um, I do want to talk about the... I, I didn't list them here, but Kotobuki is doing two more Demon Slayer statues. Uh, other companies like the Medico, they're doing the Judge's Bizarre Adventure stuff with um, Part 7. I cannot wait to talk about those. So hopefully you guys tune in as well to watch me mispronounce more names and highlight more cool anime manga figures and statues. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry again for mispronouncing stuff. Hopefully you got a kick out of that. 
Uh, as always, like, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite is, what you plan on getting, what you wish you could get, and uh, poor wallets. Rest in peace, wallets for 2020. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you uh, for subscribing. Hit the little bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video. Thank you.